Good morning, Kingsley. Here's the machine, the Bravo Dual Boiler BS900. Uh, as you saw in the photo, the machine is in fairly good condition. Um, it has just been recently uh, serviced. I've got the receipt. It's uh, been serviced at Eastlink Espresso. So it's all the things that they did to it. So absolutely no problems with the machine. Um, and I'm just going to make a coffee on it in this video. When you first turn on the machine, uh, it usually takes about five minutes uh, to reach temperature. So five to ten minutes, sorry. Uh, but you can program the machine to wake up in the morning for you. So if you set the clock, you can tell it to wake up at like 8 a.m. and it'll be hot by 8.30 or 8.10, um, whatever time you wake up. <clears throat> Um, yeah, so once you let, once it reaches temperature, uh, if you give it a bit more time, it'll heat up really, really nicely. So you've got a, a top tray for the um, cups, you can put your cups here and they'll get nice and hot. Uh, and the portobello will get really hot as well because this has a heated group in, uh, which is really, really nice. <clears throat> if you don't want to wait uh, for these components to heat up, you can make a coffee straight away, uh, but it's recommended you heat up the machine at least with a blank shot. So a blank shot is just um, a shot of hot water, no coffee in the handle, just hot water into the cup. Uh, this will warm up your cups, your water filter, and it will sort of get your machine ready for the actual coffee. So you can press the single or double, it doesn't matter. Uh, actually, let's, let's press this the double because it gives us more coffee. So that's what we got in the double amount, I believe. Uh, the double gives us, I think, 100 grams of water and the single 60 grams of water. You can program those in the settings, very easy to do. Once that's done, check out the portal filter. Grab a tissue and wipe it dry. You want this to be dry before grinding your coffee. Um, make sure you use fresh beans with your machine uh, and try to get a decent grinder. Um, it doesn't have to break the bank, but it has to be sort of a espresso focused grinder because not every grinder will be will will, will be suitable. Um, and also, obviously, make sure the grinder is set, set up correctly for the correct grind size. Uh, because if the grind size is too large or too coarse, the coffee will flow too quickly. If the grind size is too small and fine, the coffee will flow too slowly. I have the exact same machine, so I've got a drill boiler as well on the left. This is my personal machine, um, and I'm using the Eureka um, Special Leader Grinder. And it's set up to the correct settings, so I don't have to mess too too much with the settings. So we should be getting a good shot today. So I'm using the double basket. This basket takes about 18 grams, so I'm gonna put 18 grams of coffee in it. <clears throat> um, your machine also comes with cleaning cleaning tools. Um, so you can clean the machine if you want, but I've already cleaned it, so it's part of the service. So I'm using my scale to put 18 grams. It's good to be sort of uh, consistent with the, with the grinding and the tamping and everything, so you get a consistent coffee. Um, so I'm using the scale today. You don't have to use a scale, but I'm using the scale just to give you an indication of what 18 grams looks like. Um, I'm also going to be measuring the output. Let's see what we get in this. That's about 18.8 grams, so I'm just going to maybe remove a bit. Just by, by chewing it. Um, okay. 
that's 18 grams perfect and what I'm going to do is I'm going to flatten the coffee with my palm and then I'm going to press it with the tamper so you want it to be nice and flat before tamping so that your, your tamping pressure is nice and even so grab the tamper and press it nice and firm you can put it on the on the countertop like that to give you more force or more control so make sure you apply even pressure all around and uh, give it a nice firm press so you'll notice that uh, the tamper only goes deep as, as deep as the silver part so this is a nice trick I like to use if like I'm in a hurry or if um, I don't have my scale handy I just put enough coffee so that after a temp uh, the depth of the temper is this much for this tip. So that's a nice way of knowing that you have the correct grind size. Great. So I'm going to lock it in. So just a bit past center, or even in the center, should be fine. Um, if your machine leaks from around here, it's because you didn't tighten it properly. Um, but at the moment, it's nice and tight, so that's good. You also have a hot water tap. The hot water tap. Just turn this dial. It'll give you nice clean water from the boiler. So you can use it for Americano coffees or long back. So it's the same thing. Um, oh, you can use it for tea, tea bags, things like that. I like to use it just to add a bit of. Uh, Hot water to my cup uh, for the sugar to dissolve. I think it mixes better if there's a bit of water. So let's uh, mix it up. So you remember we put 18 grams in. We want to double that in terms of the output. So we'll we'll, we'll see what the machine gives us. So I'm going to be using the double button, and we'll see how much we get. But ideally, it should be programmed so that the quantity is double of what we put in. So 18 grams of ground coffee in. 36 grams of espresso out. So, calibrate my scale. This is a dual boiler, so by the way, I could be doing coffee and the milk at the same time. That's the whole point of a dual boiler. But just for the sake of the video, I'll be doing them separately. Um, okay. Um, the, the machine also has a timer. It's a nice 9.5 bar pressure. Coffee is coming out a bit too slow, but speeding up. And now you can see it's nice and smooth. Pretty symmetrical now on both sides. Hopefully it goes on for long enough, not too long, not too short. If it does end up going too long, I might just stop it halfway. Okay, I'll stop it then. Oh, it stopped on its own. So that was 40, 45 seconds. Um, that, that was a two cup butter. So this cup, sorry, this amount of coffee, you can split and make two drinks. Um, it has a very nice crema. And the flow is nice and smooth. But the quantity is a bit too, too much. It's around 50 grams. Um, I was aiming for 36. So what I can do next is either use the single, hopefully the single will give me about 30 to 40 grams, um, or just recalibrate the button so you can go to the settings and reprogram the button uh, for the two cup. Uh, I'll let you do that. So it's very easy to do. You just have to do what I did. Uh, so prepare the coffee, put, put the coffee in, sorry, uh, tap it nicely, lock it in, and then you can uh, put your cup down and start programming. So you want to program it with coffee, not just water. Um, yeah. It still smells great. Um, but I guess a bit too much coffee. Here's the milk. You want to get a 
milk jug that's stainless steel so you can feel the temperature and uh, this mine also has a thermometer so yeah, I'll be able to tell you when to stop but generally um, technique is similar on all manual coffee machines uh, just put the jug at an angle make sure the wand is close to the edge uh, and close to the surface of the milk as well for the first few seconds try to spin the milk in a, in a, in a sort of like a vortex and then when it gets too hot to touch you just turn off the steamer so for the first five seconds it's going to be close to the surface and after that i'm going to dunk it deeper the reason being is if it's too close to the surface all the time it'll give us too much froth we don't want that we want a latte not a very firmy cappuccino if you do like cappuccino you can do the firming for 10 seconds instead of five seconds uh, when i say firming i mean close to the surface you can actually hear the difference so. I'm firming here right now. And now I'm not. See, can you hear the difference? When it's sort of hissing, that's when it's um, injecting air into the milk. Uh, so we only do that for about five seconds. And then for the rest of the time, we dunk the wand deeper. Uh, but we maintain the, that spin of the milk so that it keeps mixing throughout the whole steaming process. And when it gets too hot to touch, so right about now, turn it off. That's about 60 degrees Celsius, which is ideal for, you know, for coffee. Give the wand a purge, this is very important. You want to give it a purge to clean it on the inside and also wipe it on the outside. Uh, but I'll clean the machine in a sec. So yeah, grab a wet towel, make sure you wipe it all around. If you don't do this soon, it'll, be, it'll become really hard to remove later on. So the sooner the better. And like I told you, just give it a purge. And for the group here, you want to take it out. Knock it into a knock box. Uh, this machine is it actually um, it's got a what is it called a um, solenoid valve and the single wall basket uh, and those two together make the knocking off very easy so you don't have to bang really hard you just tap it and it will just fall out uh, after you knock it out you want to rinse so rinsing the shower screen and the port filter just press the single or double it'll clean it up nicely Can. Um, just to be super super clean about things, you can just grab a tissue and um, wipe things. So wipe your port filter and wipe your group head, just to get rid of that extra bit of oil, maybe coffee oil or coffee grounds. Um, make sure your, your group head seal in your machine is nice and clean. So you got that much. Yeah, so not too difficult to clean. That's that's about it. Um, um, what else? Oh, let's actually pour the milk into the coffee. Um, and then knock the jug on the countertop just to break any air bubbles. And then swirl it around to mix it up. I'm going to repeat this a few times until the surface of the milk is nice and smooth. Yeah, right about now. Very nice silky milk. Oh, bit of a pattern we got today. Uh, I usually don't do latte art because I care more about the taste. But yeah, today's coffee looks really nice. Um, you can do all sorts of designs if you're skilled enough. Uh, with the steamer, it's very, very uh, close to the industrial machine, so it can do very nice, smooth textures. Um, yeah, hope you enjoy the machine. I'm sure you love it. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to message me, and I'll see you Thursday. Cheers.